uh, BCH, but in particular also you. It's quite impressive that uh, Japan has already submitted 101 risk assessments to the BCH. But I'm also quite interested in, uh, in it was quite interesting to hear from you that uh, you also use the online forum to, to keep up to date with the discussions and see what's happening on, uh, in the discussions of risk assessment, the international uh, and intergovernmental discussions. Thank you very much, Ayako. Uh, I would like now to invite Dr. Alexei Tarashev to answer a couple of questions on his experience using the BCH. Um, Dr. Tarashev is a senior researcher at the Institute for Biological Research at the University of Belgrade in Serbia. And he's also a regional advisor for the UNEP Jeff project on the Biosafety Clearing House, the BCH. Um, Alexei, thank you for joining us here today. And um, I would like to start with the first question that I have for you. And it's if you could explain how does your country use the data on the BCH, and if you could please give us a few examples. Um, just a reminder, this is a, a short uh, question and answer period. If you could please uh, keep each question, each answer to about two to three minutes. Thank you. And then I have a second question for you. Alexei, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, just to check, uh, can you hear me? Uh, uh, I want to welcome. Oh, I want to welcome everyone to this uh, webinar, and uh, it's very nice to see many familiar names on the participant list. Uh, after in, uh, introdu introduction by by Ayako San, I think I don't have to explain how you finding information. It was very nicely given in. Her presentation. I would uh, like to say something about how can you use uh, data when you find it, and it's not only on national level, but also I have experience working on international level with the CBD, with the UNEP Jeff projects, and also with FAO, uh, with various uh, potential users and users of BCH. And I can say that uh, the data you need uh, depends. Uh, very much on the stakeholder group that you belong to. You need very different types of information depending on the stakeholder group. Uh, and uh, what is also I find interesting from my experience is that uh, uh, mandates of uh, UN agencies like CBD with the BCH or FAO are uh, clearly separated, but the needs of a stakeholders usually are not. So I think uh, what is happening right now uh, that we are connecting those databases is uh, very important because usually uh, people who are interested in one aspect also need information from uh, other websites. So it's very useful, for example, for those who use uh, FAO dat database to also search for information on BCH. And I can give you example from uh, my country because we had a uh, uh, public hearing in our parliament. And during that uh, hearing, I uh, used as an expert witness uh, data from various databases, but I presented uh, uh, data from uh, Biosafety Clearing House during my presentation and during discussions. It was in par held in parliament and it was uh, broadcasted on our national TV. Uh, so uh, I can say that uh, what what was the main point? Because uh, in Serbia, it was uh, uh, very much uh, abused information about uh, uh, the moratorium in Switzerland on cultivation. And it was presented even in parliament like moratorium on all uh, uses of uh, uh, genetically modified organisms. And on BCH, I found information that in Switzerland, there are eight decisions, eight permits for four mod modification events, both for food and feed. And uh, which I think is uh, even more important than if you not use only decisions, but you use, for example, national uh, reports 
to the BCH, to the uh, reports that you must present under Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety. Uh, in that report, you can find very important information that while you have four decisions and permits uh, for four modification in events, in fact, you don't uh, have any products on the market. So, for example, if you're searching other databases, you can find it information on decisions because it's food and feed, like on FAO, uh, that database. But uh, it's very useful to go to BCH and to check other types of information, and you can uh, find that type of, of information that there is no products on the market uh, in national record on BCH. I think it uh, shows how it, uh, useful it is to uh, use uh, BCH, even if you are interested, for example, in food and feed, and you are working with FAO, that, that database. Alexei, thank you very much for your answer. Uh, quite interesting. I also posted a link to the video you sent uh, of a public hearing in the, uh, in the Serbian parliament. It's in the chat box if someone is interested. I watched it. It's quite interesting. Uh, Alexei, I have another very brief question to you. And if you could give us a couple of insights or practical tips, but really like very punctual t uh, practical tips on the effective use of the data in the BCH according to your experience, please. Well, uh, in my experience, first uh, advantage of BCH is that uh, this is of official information. If you are talking about national records, it's presented by parties, so it's uh, official. Some other databases have information, but it's not official. And also, uh, second tip is to, uh, to use all type of uh, available records, uh, national records, because you can find some very informa useful information, for example, in national records. So briefly, this is my uh, tips from my experience with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, giving my testimony in our parliament uh, regarding use of BCH. And uh, if if you have time, look at the uh, uh, video because I think you can see that it was presented directly from BCH site, so it's screenshots from the information that is there. So if, uh, if you have any other questions, I'm here to answer them. Thank you so much, Alexei. I appreciate your participation. We have still uh, three minutes uh, that we, I would like to see if any other of the, the other active participants or presenters would like to um, share their experience using the BCH and also some practical, practical tips. Or if you have any question, please use anyone else, please use the chat box. And as Masami explained, we will try to answer, if not now, later uh, after the webinar. So if anyone has a, a comment about the BCH, uh, his practical or her practical use, you're very welcome to share. If that's not the case. Um, Hello, this is uh, Masami uh, from FAO. I actually have a question. Um, to either Alexei or uh, Ayako. So I will probably ask the first question to Alexei. Um, the, for you, that um, um, when you log on to this uh, BCH, I mean, what is the, um, how do I say that, um, um, for example, that if you would like to do some national activities in Serbia, and then um, if you need the data or if you need some scientific information or uh, anything that uh, you would like to use, um, do you uh, do you use it from the BCH? And then also, uh, do you post uh, some sort of relevant uh, activity-related information on? Uh, BCH or any other uh, website, how, how do you, I mean, is there any way that we can see this um, um, interactive um, uh, 
activities, if you know what I mean, that interactive uh, process of the use of the data and then, you know, like uh, with the output. Is there any experience you have gone through, Alexei? Well, uh, we used it a lot uh, in during uh, training sessions on uh, UNEPGEF projects. So there is training materials in the uh, help session uh, section. So uh, there is a lot of information how to use BCH uh, there. Uh, regarding scientific information on BCH, other than national records that I already mentioned, there is also reference records, which is not officially posted but by parties. Parties can also uh, post reference records, but other stakeholders can also post information uh, in reference records about, uh, for example, uh, uh, capacity building activities or some uh, uh, materials that are, are, are available. So you can, uh, under section uh, finding information, find that type of information too. And uh, for registering information, uh, you don't have to be a party uh, to the protocol to reg register uh, reference records. So there is that component too. It's not official, but it's very useful. If I may just add, this is again Manuela from the CBD. Uh, to what Alexei said, and thank you, Alexei. Yes, the reference records do not belong, so to say, to countries, to parties to the protocol, but they are. Um, they are submitted by any BCH user. So these are, for example, records on GMOs, LMOs. Um, but they, they are uh, they're, they're maintained by the Secretariat. So we validate the records, but we also make sure that the information there is correct and complete to the extent possible. And we maintain that record. So anyone can submit, but there is a certain, there is a quality assessment of the record to make sure that the, the, the information is complete and accurate. Thank you.